Oh, what a day. What a day. Oh, hello, everyone. Tis I, Mr. Death, once again. And this time, I'm going to review to you something that none of you never even thought before. You do remember about um, Dracula. He reviewed to you uh, Castlevania, right? And then he did a second one where he talks about Lords of Shadow. Well... I mean, he reviewed, he reviewed Castlevania games and the Lords of Shadow, and believe it or not, he bought himself this game, Castlevania Lords of Shower, I mean, Lords of Shadow, sorry, Mirror of Fate. And he really likes this game, believe it or not. Although, it tells more of the backstory of how Gabriel became Dracula. And the rest of the game talks about his son Trevor. So it's pretty much more like a remake to this game. And of course, linking to Simon Belmont, which is also a remake to this game. So it's just a combined remake of this, with a bit of the origin of uh, Gabriel Bru Belmont. And how he became Dracula. But enough about the Castlevania games. I think it's time that I'm going to review to you a video game. Do you ever want to play a video game where you can play another character who is supernatural? And I'm not going to name names, so I'll point. <laughs> well, there is a game you can do that. And it's called... Darksiders. Now, these games are really great. They really are. They're very great. And before I get to the sequel, I guess I have to tell you about the first game here. What Darksiders is all about? Well, if those of you who have read the Revelation from a Bible, it's set place on the Revelation where where the trumpet sound started and one of the seven seals had been broken and now there's an all out war between angel against another friend trying to call anyway a war of angel against angel of course you know it's angel against demons from hell and there's a group of angels who are warriors, they call themselves the Hell Gods, and they are battling against the demons. And sadly, the human race has been destroyed due to the crossfire. And then from out of nowhere, in this game, you play this guy. And his name is War. And he's one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Well, just one of the four horsemen, actually. In this game, you play war, and you try to figure out who summoned him, who broke the Seven Seal. And throughout the entire game, there's a group of angels who thinks he started the war, even though he's trying to prove his innocence at the same time, but at the same time, who broke the Seven Seal. And throughout the entire battle, there is this angel who goes by the name... of Alban, Alderon, Alderon, that's his name, Alderon. He's the leader of the angels and the hell gods. And you think he's dead. And there is that female angel who goes by the name of Eualiel. No, not you. Oh well, I forgot her name. Sometimes it's kind of hard to keep track of names, especially when you have a list full of names of people who has to go. And it's hard to keep track of people who can't die. So, anyway, War goes through all this journey, and he also discovers 
that there is a demon who goes with the name of Destroyer who might be the one who started all this. And to make a long... Hmm. Actually, I think I, I can't make it make the long story short. I should continue on. Throughout the game, there are a group of demons and one not named Samael who wanted power and he wanted war to get the stuff for him in order to make him powerful. And there is this demon called the Watcher who tries to control war while at the same time giving him hints throughout the game. Voiced by the legendary Mark Hamill himself. Who thought of Luke Skywalker was going to be playing a demon in this game? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the force is strong in this one. <laughs> anyway, anyway, throughout the game, throughout this entire game, there's more obstacles to go through, more demons to deal with. And then all of a sudden you meet this angel of death and it's not yours truly. There's an, as it turns out, there is an angel of death who goes by the name of Azrael. And it turns out he was sort of involved in the war deal. The battle between the angel against angel. He didn't want this, but he was forced by Aldoan. And, spoiler alert, at the end of the game, Alderaan, he's the one who started this, because he became a fallen angel. Hmm. So he battles against Alderaan, and War has the, seven, the rest of the Seven Seal, and force him to shatter it. So now, sadly in the game, the angel still thinks that War started this battle but he said he won't be fighting this alone he summoned his brothers death fury let, let me see what was the other name strife that's the name of the four horsemen in this game war death strife and fury So, that's the end of this game. Now let's get to the the best one that I say for that I say for this time. Dark Siders 2, where this time you play me, Death, one of the four horsemen. And as he figures out his brother War, he's in prison and discovered that um, I mean he's in prison so he goes through this ent entire journey trying to clear his brother's name and trying to prove that war didn't start this. But the only way to do that is one thing and one thing only. He needs to bring back the human race. He needs to risen them from the grave, bring them back to life. And that's how he's going to do it. So he goes through the whole journey. He goes through this whole entire journey, and he also meets one of the um, the angels who decided to help him, and a blacksmith who is immortal, who helps him find him new weapons. And you be battling against hordes of evil demons, and it turns out that the evil one of all, he goes by the name of Corruption, who corrupts angels for more power. Hmm. I hate corruptions. And then sooner or later in this game, you'll be battling against uh, one demon who looks like something out of an H.P. Lovecraft story. I hate Cthulhu. Seriously, I hate Cthulhu. He scares me. Mm. And of course, as playing Death, you also get help from a bird who goes by the name of Dust. Who kind of guides you in any direction you you have you need to go, and of course ride your horse in the game, along with these two th little sighs, sigh as handy weapons. My personal favorite, if you ask me. Although Dracula prefers swords, I prefer sighs.
all in all, this was a lot better game than the first game. I mean, the first game was really awesome, and it's quite invigorating, but to me, I prefer the sequel, because it's a, it's a way better game, and it gives you the chance to know what it's like to play death, or play me. <laughs> hmm. And pretty much at the end of the game, spoiler alert, you battle against corruption who turns out... Who turns out... Who turns out that corruption was Death's dead brother, who goes by the name of Arberson, or or Arderon, or... Oh, shut up! Stop rushing me. Jeesh. Anyway, this game is really awesome, and rumor has it, oh yeah, at the end of the game, when you battle against corruption, who turns out to be his dead brother, he finally found a way to clear his brother's name by sacrificing himself into the lake of souls where all the tortured souls were laid in torment in order to bring back the dead, bring them all back to life. <laughs> so this here is my review for the day, these video games, Darksiders. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, they are planning to do Darksiders 3. And here's one thing I heard. Do after this game came out, some of the creators sort of quitted. But uh, one of the other companies got the rights to this game and decided to make a third game. So right now they just re-released this game and this one for the for the Xbox One and also PlayStation 4, which we don't have yet. But on the third game, guess who you're gonna be playing this time? Strife. That's right. In the third game, you'll be playing one of the other horsemen named Strife. Now not much is confirmed throughout the game. I mean, you never know when they're going to make it or not. I mean, it's going to take you a long time to wait, like they did with Kingdom Heart 3 and Freddy vs. Jason. That's right, I was waiting to see that movie. Because I don't like Freddy. I like Jason. Of course, I feel sorry for the old chap. <laughs> so... For those of you who are, for those of you who are into sort of a biblical quest, quest game, you should get yourself Darksiders 1 and 2, and probably wait until the third one comes out. Because they are very fun. And I don't want to upset Dracula, but I think it's a lot of fun than Castlevania. Shh. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, this is my review of Darksiders. Oh, and there's another thing I forgot to tell you. I was watching Dead Like Me, and there was one thing it does, um, kind of close to how I've been through. If you've seen that scene, that British chap who's a Grim Reaper meets this girl in the record store, and saw his post sticks and asked him, is he a Grim Reaper? So what she did, she take him to the, um, to the storage, to the, um, to the closet, and she makes love with him while he's, while she wants him to keep saying he's a Reaper. You know, that does, you know, it kind of makes me think about the, kind of makes me think about that classic movie, um, Death Takes a Holiday. I've got to watch that movie and do a really good review because that movie was based from old ancient uh, paintings called Death and the Maiden. 
you know, all these pictures of a beautiful, attractive woman with a skeleton. It turns out to be yours truly. Hmm. I have such a way with women. And don't get me started to meet Joe Black. I mean, that's just a watered-down version of that crap. I prefer Death Takes a Holiday because it's more romantic that way. And it's a classic. But the problem is, between me and my old friend, uh, Count Dracula, he meets women who wants to be married to him. And as for me, I meet women who don't want to be married, but just want to have fun. If you know what I mean. Hmm. But sometimes, it, sometimes I would like to meet the right girl that I really would like, that I would like to spend my entire life with. Well, my eternal life, but still. I mean, Dracula have so many brides, and I just got a bunch of girls who just want to have fun. And that's all. And I'm getting sick and tired of that. Honestly. Anyway, Mr. Multivoice Reviewer wants me to introduce a new character. Multivoice Reviewer met this guy while he was um, in Mexico and saw him working over at that casino over there called Belterra. So he wants him to uh, quit his job and decided to work with the multi-voice reviewer. And he said he's from Spain. So, so if you excuse me, it's time for you to meet multi-voice reviewer's new, uh, new character. So, come on in. Gracias, mi amigo. Hola, señor and señorita. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Señor Papi. I am the world's greatest lover. And no, I am not Zorro. I mean, a lot of people look at me and think I am Zorro. But I am Señor Papi, the world's greatest lover of all Spain. And a lot of people say I sound like Antonio Banderas. And the reason why Mr. Multivoice Reviewer let me over here is because I'm here to review Spanish romance, romantic comedies, and masquerading Spaniard vigilantes. And maybe one of these days I can review to you the Princess Bly. I mean, you remember a lot. My name is Inigo Montoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die. See, si, senor, I got myself my own personal sword. Because I am a greatest sword fighter all of Spain. And it's not a toy, senor and senoritas. And the reason why I wear the mask is because to hide. A lot of people say that I look absolutely gorgeous. So I, hide, so I wear this mask to hide my, my vanity. Because my vanity is a blessing, but also a curse. So this time, you, my dear amigos, should stay tuned. Because the, the next movie I'm going to review to you today... It's Don Juan DeMarco, starring, starring Johnny Depp and the legendary actor. And the legendary actor, Marlon Brando. Don Juan DeMarco is one of the greatest movies, and it was based by a book. So you better stay tuned, because I, Senor Papi, will be coming soon for, for my first Spanish review. And I may warn you, sir, I am not. I am a lover, not a fighter. But anybody who dares want to challenge me, I love a good duel. So, on guard, mi amigo. This here is Senor Papi. First time doing this review. Telling to you all. 
telling to you all adios. Oh, I almost forgot. If you love this review, please leave a comment down below. Hit like and subscribe. And for those of you who are interested in me, give me a love, senorita. Because one of my greatest weakness is melting a beautiful woman's heart. So this is Senor Papi, telling to you all, all right.